a moment with nature. A brief time with a mind fascinated by the natural world. Well, it's great garden bird watch day and um, I'm starting first thing in the morning. I'm going to do my hour relatively early. Um, in fact, so early the dogs are still eating their breakfast, which you can probably hear in the background. And we'll kick off with, oh, two great tits. Uh, garden seems quiet this morning. As if the birds have all said, oh, hang on, they're going to be looking out for us today. We better clear out. But uh, I'm sure things will change. I'm doing the bird watch on the Sunday and I've just stepped outside and boy the bird count has gone up quickly. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sparrows, eight sparrows, nine, or is it eight, or is it ten? It's very hard to tell, they flit around. Uh, house sparrows, uh, that's as... <laughs> More great hits. Whether they're the same or not, I don't know, so I won't add them to the total. I'll just sort of... Then... Chaffinches. Lots of blue tits. Lots and lots of blue tits. Almost impossible to count the number of blue tits because they flit around so quickly. Uh, there's a blackbird sitting in the trees. Not singing at the moment, but it's definitely there. Um... There's the inevitable lesser spotted aeroplane. Oh, if these are going to fly over. Oh, red wings. Haven't seen red wings yet this year. Yet now, they probably don't count because they're just over the fence. But that's definitely a flock of red wings. Oh, what's that at the top there? I think that's probably a robin. Yeah, I think that's a robin. You start to be able to identify birds, not just by their look or by their sound, but also by their behaviour. Uh, blue tits are little scurrying things that flit around in the branches, picking at uh, insects. Those are... Oh, you're kidding! I've got a flock of long-tailed tits in the garden. Oh, that's brilliant. I love long-tails. They are the most delightful little creatures. And, yep, definitely I've got long-tailed tits. Now, that's about sort of ten minutes after starting the bird watch. That's, that, I'm very pleased about that. We do, I know we do get them, but I wasn't expecting them this morning within this time. That's fantastic. Oh, that's a duck now. Please, fly over the garden. Nope, it's just landed on a pond which is relatively near. So that was a mallard coming into land. I've got a little sparrow cheeping away above me. Oh, that was a crow. That was definitely a crow. It flew over the garden, so that counts. And that's, that's a blue tit. So my tally's doing pretty well. I'm only sort of 10, 15 minutes into it. The long-tailed tits were a definite plus. That I was not expecting this morning. OK, let's pause it there for the moment and keep on counting. And that was a starling flying overhead. It definitely counts, but it came right over our garden. Oh, I don't know where it is, but I heard the chuck of a jackdaw a second ago. Well, that's now starting confirmed because it's sitting in the top of our tree or one of our trees. Oh, and there's a chaffinch. I was wondering when I was going to see some of those, but yep, there's definitely a chaffinch. A male, pinky on its chest. Rather nice birds, rather striking birds. Mm -hmm. 
and the sparrows just everywhere, picking through bushes, picking through hedges, bickering with each other. I love the way they are. Blackbird chattering away in the background there, but I've already got them noted. It's a male, so it's him noted. Uh, another starling's come to join the starling, and a chaffinch and a blue tit have joined them as well. When I first started bird watching, I didn't realise quite how difficult it was because the birds move all the time. Of course they do, they're feeding and they move. And I, I've learned you have to just practice and practice. Now I can I can tell a blue tit from a distance. I can, just by the way it flies, I can tell sparrows. The bigger birds are easy, buzzard, um, crow, jackdaw, raven. Those are all fairly straightforward. Uh, but the little ones, I know now how a sparrow behaves. I can see sparrows. Well, actually, there's a couple very close to me at the moment. Um, I can recognise a woodpecker's flight. I can recognise a starling. Uh, starlings always seem to be in a hurry. They're very, they're rushed and they hang around in little flocks this time of year. And then, yep, there's another starling gone up to join the other ones up on the top of the tree. They definitely like being together. They're flocking birds. Oh, I'll oh, it. Uh, and another starling going to join up the other ones, and another one. They seem to know where they are and just congregate. And you see the... The other thing I was all surprised at is actually the amount of... Oh, here comes a raven. Can you hear? Cronk. still quite a long way in the distance you may not be able to hear it but I'll try and boost the sound unless it flies directly over my garden I'm not going to count it but it's nice to know that it's there well that about wraps up the hour um, I've done the bird watch um, a few surprises one pleasant surprise which is the long tail tits the I didn't see some of the regulars I might have expected. Ah, hang on, though, that's just counted. And the last second, some wood pigeons flew over because we've got lots of wood pigeons around here. They're, they're doing very well around the country, so I can include wood pigeon. Um, I haven't seen any uh, goldfinch, uh, which are quite common around here. I haven't seen any greenfinch, which I get sometimes. Uh, no bullfinch. Uh, the, no wagtails came into the garden, though there were some around. So actually, a, a good representation. Lots of the common birds, which is unsurprising. And um, I'm going to wrap it up there. Next week, whatever pops up and catches my eye. The music was Nature Watch by Aleski, downloaded from Pixabay. The graphics were done by Dillis, and everything else was done by me, Toby Murcott.